Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and yes, 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 you now see again the sofa buildings uh, because uh, when I say it, you can create it in Rhino more faster and more better and more flexibility uh, I think about it and I don't like uh, I should show you how you can do that in Rhino I know this topic about the Rhino uh, you not so much interesting, but I will uh, tell you true. Zaha Hadid Architects working in Rhino and in Revit in the same time. Okay, as you can see, this is uh, actually the Revit model right now. Uh, I did just the mess because we need only mess, but if I will select everything here, I will find here the mess, as you can see. I will check on everything, I will use only mess, and I will copy it to show you what I get from the Rhino. Actually, this mess, what we, you will see now, you, what you will see right now, this is from the Rhino, this is mess form. Let's say I'll show you in Rhino what is that. So this mess I did like, I don't know, I spent like few minutes only to create this mess. We will do this uh, also in like in few minutes. But you now will understand um, how to uh, create some mess forms in Rhino and after that import it to the Revit. It's much faster, much better, and each it, this can be uh, changed in Revit. So what I mean can be changed. As you can see, when I'm select this, it the Revit uh, recognize it like mass form, and after that you can go, for example, to the mass inside, and you can place uh, as always. You can place here your walls, as you can see. Uh, you don't like walls, you can place here, for example, some roof if you want, and even the curtain system only up to you guys and don't forget about the floors so you can put the floors too now i have only two floors in this template and that's why i have here only two floors too so guys uh, as you can see uh, by this way you can create some incredible building uh, much faster way i think this is a so long intro let's start so the first and main thing to create this project today, you should get the Rhino. Uh, how to how to get the Rhino for free? Uh, you just can go to the Rhino website and you take it for for I think the for one month for free if I'm not wrong. Uh, doesn't matter which version you will get, so all the same. Uh, let's go to the top view and let's find our building here is my building and we will create the new building near here with this building so what we will do uh, we will use the for example ellipse let's use the ellipse mm, for example like this no it's too small i will make it a bit bigger i will make like this okay this is good enough uh, i will create one more ellipse Let's find the center. I want to find the center of this object. Uh, center we can find it. And we need also... We need also... Ah, nothing. We don't need anything. I will do like this. I will choose this... Um, this ellipse. Now by control. I will do like this. And we'll do smaller here. And a bit smaller here. Okay, this will be my first level. This one I don't need, and one, two, um, that's it. I think for now, for now that's it. Now let's go to perspective view, uh, let's rotate. And for example, this one, it will be my second level. And that part, it will be a third level. I will do it like this, okay. Let's make it a bit lower. Okay, so and actually we now uh, should create some additional things, but we will do it later on. So how we can create this curve uh, thing? Uh, easily, you should go, for example, to surface. Uh, let's go to right click here and you will find here loft. Or uh, if you worked before in uh, AfterCut, you can write the loft in here in the console. And find here loft, this one choose one line second one line and other line for example you have like 50 lines choose those lines uh, enter check your uh, your direction now everything okay everything in one direction as you can see again enter and as you can see we get some form we can change this form for example to loose this is a, looks more uh, like a soho building than normal 
you can tough even and for example straight straight if you want some angle and one uh, one last it's uniform uh, to get more curvy but i will use for example that system today for for this building also you can uh, rebuild uh, the uh, network if you want and check out the function it's working same okay let's say okay and as you can see we get our shape already but as you remember in uh, in soho building they have like uh, some something inside we, we going like slope here and after that you have here the uh, curtain wall so how we can create it it's really easy for example as you can see i still have here the curve uh, now i will use the alt to make it smaller a bit and i will do smaller it's here for example like this and let's put it a bit below mm -hmm. one more here and one more here okay and it's also will be a bit below let's make it a bit above like this so uh, now we again going to the loft so let's write the loft enter uh, one line curve line second line and third line like this and let's say enter again the line check the lines everything okay and we get our uh, curve now we can change to the other fifth, uh, other type of the curve, for example, normal or uniform, here will be better. Let's say OK. So we get our shape. Now we need some extrusion like we see, like you saw here. Uh, again, just uh, click here, you will find the curve. Uh, let's make it smaller a bit, like this. I will do it a bit smaller. And now we need we live on the same level yes we will leave this on the same level and one more i will create like this and i will do it a bit higher like that okay nice again loft enter one curve line second curve line and last one curve line let's say okay check everything everything okay and we get the shape so the last thing what we need to do, you just uh, should create here the curtain, um, should create here the something like this. You have a lot of ways how you can uh, make uh, your form in Rhino. So I will show you one of them. For example, uh, I need now uh, use the arc. You know the arc because we using the arc in Revit too. So one point, second point, and now for example the we will use this one part. For example, till here, as you can see, we get something like this, right? So uh, now the one most simple thing, just we should uh, use the path, the one side, and the second one, and just enter preview. And as you can see, we get our shape uh, because it's uh, a bit uh, tiny here. That's why we get shape like this. But you can control it from here. For example, you can make for, uh, like this and softness, for example, stiffness here, the tree. Maybe we'll make the 10 and this is much better. Let's make 50. No, it's not what I want. So I will leave for like four. It's more than enough. So we get our shape when you already understand this is what you want. Say OK. And this is our shape. So what the next? I don't need to write this line. I will delete this line. Or you can hide it. Just select your object. Nothing nothing special. Just select, select your object. After that, go to the file. And here find the export selected. Write here the name. What you want, for example, test free and make sure your uh, type of the file it's asic or sat uh, sat.net so we should use this type of the file and say okay choose the aftercut type expo export aftercut and say okay just you second done let's go to the revit how to import to the revit it's really easy go to the mess inside create mess new mess go to the insert here import cut file find your uh, file it's here already test number oh it's here time test number three and as you see this is really nothing it, the the weight of this file it's really nothing 
and just make sure import as category mess so just like a mess let's say ok and here is our building finish mess so what we can do now in Revit <laughs> everything let's go again to the mess inside let's for use for example curtain walls create the curtain system it's take time but here is our curtain system you know want to use here for example curtain system let's go back let's create here the walls we will create here walls for example on the under this we will create a roof here i will do roof for example let's say create the roof and for that last last thing we will create the curtain system let's say create the curtain system so as you can see this is uh, a bit angle curtain system because we are using here 300 panels by 1500 let's make like 1000 panels by 1000 and let's say okay it will take time because i'm using these panels here too as you can see here now it's really idealistic one but here it's not here we should make more smaller than we have now anyway you now understand how to you can load your uh, mess from the Rhino in Revit and use it. As you can see, we get a really nice shape. Uh, I will change the view, for example, to realistic to you can see what's going on here. And if you will say uh, switch off the mess, you not will see uh, ever your uh, Rhino model. As you can see, we don't see here any Rhino model. Uh, highly recommend you if you are using, for example, some free forms, use the Rhino and Revit. It will be work really nice. I hope guys this is lesson was really helpful for you and you now understand more and more about the free forms in Revit. Anyway, if you are interested in something else and if you want um, what I, I will continue this topic in my channel, just again leave the comment, don't forget about the likes and share this video. Thank you guys and see you next time. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.